these that David describes are as ravenous beasts. That's really the nature of man. I was telling somebody the other day in my office that those that are really paranoid probably have a better view of things than the rest of us as far as what reality is. They're paranoid about everything. They're paranoid about that way that person looked at them. You know, paranoid about that way that person driving. In many ways, if the Lord did just give us peace, we ought to be that way. We live in a wicked world. We live in a world where at, at the least thing, man will defend himself rather than bow to the truth. And that's what David is describing here. In fact, that's how Scripture just describes man. There's nothing good in it. Look over in Psalm 27. Here again is an expression of where David's hope lies. He says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? But notice verse 2. When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me, notice, to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. You know, if they do that with one of their own, how much more prominent it was when our Lord Jesus Christ walked upon this earth. We've got to subject everything to this word and what God says. And so he says here, overthrow their altars. These words that are used in verse 3 particularly, look at the verbs. Overthrow. Break down, burn, hew down, and destroy. Spare nothing is what it's saying. And I know that many times people might think that we're being hard on false religion, but dear friends, false religion's in the heart. It's not on being hard on people out here. It's where this heart would take us if we even allowed a little leaven, you see. And so, don't even try to build. I know for myself, when the Lord first began to teach me, I went through this struggle. I was trying to fit what he was teaching me with what I'd been raised with and what I'd been taught in free will religion. And it ended up a mishmash of grace and works and total confusion in my mind until the Lord brought me to see that I had to renounce it all. I had to completely renounce it all. That, for me, was the overthrowing of the altars. That, for me, was the breaking down of the pillars. Uh, I couldn't even use the pillars of, of works religion to, to try to reshape and build upon. No, level it all. Level it all. Burn the groves with fire. 